Dear God, I hope you find my letter. You answer my prayers. You took my mom, you held my heart. Pain in my stomach, only the heart can feel. Heavy load on my neck, I can't breathe. Now his hands in the air, asking the Lord to heal. Waiting for the better days in the sunny day. Please God, make it rain. Hey yo, hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Christmas, this is Daily Hustle. Today, as you see, I'm at Dundee Record Studios. So we're getting to know the founder. Let's get it. The show makes another show looks so stupid and work. I'm talking and loving. This is Daily Hustle. I go by the name Christmas. You already know. Today I'm here at Dandil Record Studios. You know, CC Oi founder. Yeah, I only record label. CC, welcome to the show. Hello, huh? Hey, we are label. Hello. <laughs> Getting my mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool, man. Thank you so much for allowing us to come here into your space. No, you're welcome. Yeah, nice deco. Thank you. <laughs> Feminine. Mm, I think. I <laughs> Lady with taste. I am. Cassie. That I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, Angel, why record label? Music record, record label. Um, so I love Uti or Gatala Kere. Um, first and foremost, my mother mm. was a musician. Okay. So, being a musician, she also had her own record label. Yes. So, at that time, she did her genre of music was jazz contempt. Okay. So, I want to run other youngsters. We, we love the house music mm. and all of that. And, you know... So, it's a family thing. It is. It is the legacy. Okay. So, at that time, my mother was like, Oh, na kiri di, 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 started as the foundation for it was sort of like a, a an extension okay. to my mother's record label before we get uh before we get into that can you tell me where na ubani and the futsu upumab libito laka or lina laka ke matapelo matloha um born and bred lana is okay but both my parents are from limbo povotogwa mm -hmm. yes i'm <laughs> a f first born yes. to both of them though my mother's late now oh, okay i'm sorry to hear that yes yeah. so uh my father's the one who's living now okay yeah so basically that's who i am i am 36 years old mm. um I have a qualification in finance. <laughs> okay. okay. So, <laughs> okay, I see where you're going. I'm a woman with yeah. many, many, Talent. many layers and talents, yes. Okay. So tell me, how are you music? How are you doing the studio? How are you doing the music? How are you doing the music? How are you doing the music? How are you doing the manager and artist? I'm a good person. As an MC, I was 13. Oh, so you got bars? Yeah, I could. I've got bars for days. <laughs> but I've been the child that that has always loved music, Nicolata mm, Mino. Mm, mm, mm. So I would be the type of girl that would be in my dad's car. He used to drive a Passat back in the 90s. I see. And I would listen to London Beats, The Commodores, Mo mm. Brandy in his car, like I said. Okay, know? okay. Um, when YFM came about 97, yeah. I was the one day in, day out listening when it was just them playing music without even having uh, uh, DJs. Yeah, yeah, I was there, I was listening. So, and then also, my mother also being a radio DJ at that time, hosting the biggest radio uh, breakfast show in Tobel yeah. FM at that time. Wow, um, it, it was just it's something that just came natural to me, okay. but I'm a person that just loves music. Mm. I have a passion for music and um, when I had the opportunity to start the record label, yeah. I had a mentor, which was my mother. So Yeah, so it was easy. It so was easy. And yeah. why Dantil? Igam I'm trying yeah. to accommodate you. I don't know why it's Zulu, but Lina La Dantil came about because if I felt like whatever that we wanted to put our music into or our name into or whatever yeah. into is a done deal. Mm. Norma, it's not. It may not be now. I see. But after two years, you sign that contract. It's still a done deal. It's still a done deal. It's still a done deal. <laughs> you know what no I mean? No matter the time. I'll put you get the last. Put you up better equal. I'll put you get the done deal. Yeah. So, yeah. Jenny, I'm a former artist. So, seven now. 
Um, Mina, I like working with artists from the ground. Yeah. We to are peasants. To ab- yeah, one type okay. of developer. Like, like, yeah. That's where my main forte is. So I worked with the likes of UK Modi, who yes. is now a very, very, very um, good soulful house artist. Mm. Um, I worked with the likes of uh, my artists at that time. Yeah, were K Modi, um, Mr. Soul, yeah, uh, Mr. One, not Mr. Soul, Mr. Oh, Mr. One. One, yes, Mr. One at yeah. that time. And at that time, um, we we were on stages with the likes of the Muffins. Mm. Um, I don't know if you remember the group Musart. I, I know Bongo Muffins. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was the Muffins, the Musart. Yeah. So we were on stages with those likes. So when every one of them uh, broke through, we were like, yes, our time is coming. Yeah. But, you know, God's timing, yeah, we confirm, true, you know. True. So um, besides that, uh, then I built a studio in 2017. Yeah. Once I built my studio, um, then I had well-known artists come. Hmm. You can count them. Um, <laughs> where it was Jup Jup, okay, Spoo my lawyer, DJ Spoo, um, Mutati Mafati. That's interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah. to name a few, just to name a few, yeah. Mm, mm. Sia Shezi. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Keva Yasikas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying I would like to get him uh, we, we did a hustle. Yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Jen, yeah. if you are in music, I will be able to get music in the studio, I will be able to get music in the studio. In the Obunga ends up beside of music. Um, being seven, the nine to five, yeah, yeah, because you know, um, a girl has got to eat, yeah. so I also had a nine to five, so I was in the motor industry, okay, yeah, I worked in the motor industry for a good five years, okay, it's only 2019 when I really, really, I decided to do this on a full time basis. Mm. But yeah, I was in the motor industry. Besides having, like I said, prep when we all when we started the interview, that um, yeah. I have a qualification in financial information oh, systems. Oh, oh. So I'm a girl that also loves numbers, mm, but mm. I'm here to see numbers in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> like real numbers. <laughs> real numbers, <laughs> I like see. extra zeros. <laughs> yeah, those six zeros. Uh, yes. That is very important. Like if you run a, in a record label, mm-hmm. because I think somewhere somehow you talk money. You have to, you yeah. have to. Um, I'm, I'm learning that you have to come to a point where the passion now has to translate to money. True. Because um, rent has to be paid, mm, uh, water, bills have to be paid, everything, you know, it's monetary. So now how do you make your passion become your daily mm. brain so that's what mm. i'm learning right now or not learning but i'm trying to to actually make the transition yeah. because if if gashe gashe, i wanted to go to kali ngo just developing artists but i'm mm. like oh do i really want to do that mm. Mm. you know I but see. we'll see you'll never know yeah um another question as a woman we industry and owning the record label ima poma challenge so hlangana now Yo, maning, maning. They don't take you serious, number one. Why do? You're a woman. What's it in that emotional? I need in business, you're emotional. Yeah. But that's that's the beauty of being a woman because you see other things that other like which men don't see. Mm. In 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 my in my business or in my company, I play more of a motherly role because I want the best from my artist. I want true, to see true, them. True. Unfortunately, I mean, I'd like, not like other re- um, record labels, I don't have Lelo Kazi or that, that skin you crook about okay, you're mm. going to get 20,000 and then I, mean, I get the rest, you know. Mm. I'm not like that. I, 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 my doses would I understand that, punish but me. I just wanna I just want to ask you a question because like your opinion when it comes to mainstream, because mainstreams now... um. I think like the the online industry mm-hmm. they are taking over and the mainstreams like they are suffering. So when if you 
you do like if they do music your artists do music here and uh, most of the time is it very important to you about supply to a mainstream as well as kuma downloads online it's like it's like the lotto the music industry is like the lotto mm. to be honest with you you cannot say uh mainstream or online or online you know like online i would say it works with popularity yeah but in terms of money if you're a small artist, you don't get much. If you're a Drake, yeah, it makes sense. Mm. Um, mainstream, Nakana, it helps you with getting to the next level, which is where most artists get their monies is, mm. I'm a gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah. mainly, online and mainstream is just for the masses, just to get to know you. It's just another extended marketing tool for you. Yeah. Because I feel with even our collective uh companies uh, they're not doing much for us in order mm, collecting mm. our royalties you know yes, yes, yes. and substantial royalty that you could actually live live uh for the rest of your like mm. life like they do in america where they can stop doing music for years but umuntu is still, still living. okay yeah we understand that yeah. but you don't see that in south africa you know yeah. what I, you, you know what i mean yeah so at the end of the day, it's about now we're good to how do you maneuver? How do you hustle, you know, as a musician, as a company? But do you think our artists need the um, education as it comes to definitely, finance? Definitely. Definitely. No. Definitely. Because like, I feel like people, if you kick the whole week, those are 100,000 and uh, maybe 150,000 every week, you can save that money. And that money, I think, can maintain you for such a long period. Besides um, having... Um, financial literacy yeah it's also about it starts from from the get-go mausana that contract yeah. Uguti, what are you signing uh mm. your, your, your 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 talent to um do you want mausana do you still want your children to get from uh um that contract that you signed you understand yeah. mausana do you own your, 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 your intellectual masters your and, masters you yeah. you do you own your intellectual property that's the first thing that you need to look to but maulambile that's the mm, last thing on mm. your mind is, so if ulambile is like don't be quick to sign a contract don't be too quick don't be too quick if you are if you are giving a given a contract to sign yeah. and they tell you good uh, everything is in order yeah always ask to sleep on it or to get a lawyer mm. to check it up for you and unga too you would because you said that you might lose the deal yeah if if value you lose the deal because of that then it wasn't meant to be mm. but mm. i mm. see a whole lot of people are more are going more on the independence role yeah. because um, the resources are much more attainable. Like Avant now can build their own studios, sure. Ekaya, record yes. their own stuff, distribute their own stuff. It's just mm, that I'm mm. just uh, praying that we could have our own distribution channels in South Africa where we don't need to rely on your iTunes in a true, region that's African. Mm, we mm. need things that are African. Everything that we do is not African. So when are we going to start doing things that are African? Even our majors are not African. Mm, because I see the, there's a one, is, uh, Fagaza, I think, is from Africa. Uh, uh, and uh, as well as um, as well as well Lika online. I don't know. We have Tuga. We have Tuga who are trying mm. to make a living with Fagaza. You won't. We don't see anything from Fagaza, Tina. Mm, mm. We don't see a cent. Slika online? Mm, if in marketing for marketing yeah nah, but in but terms not, of when you don't you won't get it oh, mm, are you gonna get mm, a spreadsheet mm. from if this is how many streams that you got and from these amount of streams this is how much you got will they give you that kind of spreadsheet they don't exactly so tell they me don't. if you are an, an upcoming artist you like to get money because i feel like if you're an upcoming artist you just need fame and then you get money so if i wanna be at if i am an artist and i just wanna get money and i don't care uh, about the fame what 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 can i do just to get money without fame scoring make music for adverts make mm. music for film make music for um yeah, advertising. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you think it's important as an artist to get a PR? 
very important it's very important to have um all facets or all departments of the music industry in your camp mm. um but at the same time with music are there are there any rules kahle with music is no are there <laughs> there aren't rules because what may work for me may not work for the next yeah, person and what works yeah. for the next person may not work for, for you we understand no i understand you I know understand. so umuntu might have a train of uh, professionals who are working for them and a person who doesn't and umuntu down the streets makes your song viral more than low umuntu on abantu like 10,000 lava patalai yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I need to the music industry is a lottery. Mm, 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 mm. Pop a ban. A pop. So sometimes you're pop, or sometimes, sometimes you're pop. Sometimes I'll pop. And that's a game. Yeah, some people um, worked 10. Like, I always say when people, my like the like the, the mainstream artists, they think Gucci, they just made it just like that. Mm, they are so mm. many years behind their like, break, before their breakthroughs. Yeah. And. And a lot of pe- may, most people in the industry they like to say, especially my friends in the industry, there's ten years behind that one year a person yeah, it's breaks true. out. It's true. It's true. Because if you check all the artists, when you go through to their stuff, you see what this person has been hustling. Yeah. Like it's yeah. been hustling. Yeah, they pay their dues. Mm. Like you need to pay your dues in the music industry. Yeah, go figure in general. Karong go say, go figure lah, bang it. Yeah, he scrap lah, pa in 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 the heat, exasa he heat, and then yeah, pop. No, you have to. Hey, I know we hustle. Like go flung. Sometimes you wake up and say, "This is not for me." Yeah, this is not for me. <laughs> Fuck it! I, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, yeah. see the. But then the next, the next day when you wake up, like, like you remember why you started. You, you remember why you're doing it. So it's not for everyone. I see a lot of people want to be rappers. Everybody want to be my piano producers. Everybody want to be I'm a piano vocalist. Mm. But it's not everybody's gonna make it onto the mainstream. I, that's true. That's true. So tell me, um, my mouse Chile Lenje. As not a founder of uh, a done deal, mm-hmm. what things you like to do? Watch TV. <laughs> you introvert? Very much. Serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am. I love watching um, streaming on Netflix, Show Max. Yeah. Um, being on Twitter. <laughs> Tweet. Tweet. <laughs> that's that's basically what I do when. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm not. You don't go out and you don't drink. I do, but at home. <laughs> I, I have to take you out and show you how to drink. <laughs> uh, I'm a snob when it comes to that. I'm a snob. Let's go Putting out. a cat. I go to Funugia Gupi. Funugia Gupi. Like I don't like it. Like places where Kuala Lumpur. I like, especially with this with Corona happening. Yeah, no, I understand. But before Corona happening, I wasn't one to to like going to places with like Kuala Lumpur. In in, I love being in spaces where the music is not. Because I'm always around music, ne? when I oh, go out, I'm tired, nice. I goof, goof, you know? Mm. So even if it can't, at least, ish, I'm, a little bit I'm of it. sorry, I'd be that person, because <laughs> um, I like conversations when oh, I'm drinking, okay, you know, I okay, love okay, having okay. conversations, yeah, so no, I, I can't conversate. Like, so yeah. you can't even dance though? I used to. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. So you're not dance no more. Cucuritis. <laughs> <laughs> you said you, you used to rap. Yeah. Maybe you got some bars for me. Good. Yes. Just a little bit, man. I was 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can tell me more about when I was 14, you know, there was this young boy. He trying to hit on me. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Like, I know you have that bar. I forgot. Funny enough, I forgot my bars. Just, just, just uh, three lines. I forgot my bar. You can do it, man. Three lines. This is daily hustle. You can, you can, you can do it. Man. Just the bars. This is daily hustle. Here I am flexing my muscle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. In the music industry, it's a tussle. <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> yeah, my producer is escaping hands. Be escaping hands, man. <laughs> Do you, um, you have any questions, man? 
before we wrap oh you don't <laughs> okay um just one last question um before i let you go do you like to to game like games no i'm not a gamer serious just... what do you mean in terms of games like playstation yeah, yeah, yeah. or chicago yeah uh, in terms of playstation know? because you're introvert so playstation no, is inside. no no you just like to sit down and watch tv and eat That's what it. is your favorite dish my favorite tupperware <laughs> <I love. laughs> Mm, my favorite dish. Yeah. Ooh, I've got a lot because I love cooking. Serious? Yeah, I love cooking. Yeah. Um, I I love cooking. So I'd, I'd say macaroni and mince, my favorite. Nice. But no, actually, it's the first food. Nyam, actually, I love mm. meat. Mm. 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 Okay, I see. I see. Like, thank you so much for allowing me, allowing me to come here. It's been like. Um, an amazing show it's a pleasure thank you for for um inviting me to your podcast the and daily it's hustle and it's high. yes and, it's and high. yeah allowing me to give you a part of me mm. Yes. Mm. i think i'll come back again just to get more okay yeah. <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> thank you so much for allowing me to do this uh interview where where people can find you on social media on Facebook, we are Dandil Records South Africa. Yes. On Instagram, it's Dandil Records Czar. Yes. And then on Twitter, it's Dandil Records. Um, what is it? Okay. Dandil Records. Yeah. Your personal? Um, my personal is uh, on Twitter is Matapela Legacy. Yes. On Facebook, it's Mati. And on Instagram, it's Mati. This is Daily Hustle, the show that makes another show look so stupid on Waikakopai and on Christmas. We all. <laughs>